Is a $7 set of screwdrivers just as good as a set that cost over $100? We have a bunch of different brands to test today, so let's find out. In the first test, we'll see if the screwdrivers can drive in and remove 50 screws. Then we'll test the cam out and failure load. We'll see which brand has the strongest slotted screwdriver blade. When it's hammer time, we'll see which screwdriver has the best dance moves. At a price of only $7, the least expensive brand that we'll be testing is made by Pittsburgh and sold at Harbor Freight. 12 screwdrivers for $7 seems like a terrific value. Magnetic tips, rib cushion grip. It even comes with a lifetime warranty. Made of chrome vanadium steel, wrench ready to increase the torque. The Pittsburgh screwdrivers are made in China. Let's go ahead and kick off our first test. I'll first grind three flat areas on the screwdriver shaft. I'll cut the screwdriver shaft so we can install it in a drill. The flat areas on the shaft will allow the chuck to maintain a firm grip on the screwdriver without slipping. To test the durability of the screwdrivers, I'll use the hammer mode to install and remove 53 and a half inch screws in a pressure treated 4x4s. I'll use an impact driver with a new impact driver bit to start each of the drywall screws before beginning the test. And the Pittsburgh number two Phillips screwdriver has very thin flutes, so this is going to be very interesting. Unfortunately, the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh ran out of steam on the 11th screw at around 600 impacts from the hammer drill. And the flutes on the Pittsburgh are just way too soft and thin to last a long time. At a price of $17, or more than double the cost of the Pittsburgh brand, is this Craftsman brand. The kit includes 12 pieces. The slotted Craftsman screwdrivers have a square shaft, allowing the use of pliers or a wrench for additional torque. Alloy steel blades are heat treated for strength and durability. We're going to test that. Coated with a satin nickel finish. Comfort optimized handle for high and low torque applications. Includes a magnetizer and a demagnetizer. The Craftsman brand is made in Taiwan. The Craftsman's on the left and the Pittsburgh's on the right. The flutes in the Craftsman are a lot thicker, giving it a better fit and strength advantage over the Pittsburgh. And the Craftsman made a very easy work of installing 50 screws and I didn't have to exert a lot of downward force to prevent cam out. It also made very easy work of removing all 50 screws. And the Craftsman flutes are very thin and the screwdriver is nearly used up. However, the flutes did not twist or bend even after around 16,500 impacts from the drill removing and installing 50 screws. At a price of $24 for eight screwdrivers, or $3 each, is this Tecton brand. Extremely durable handles made of glass reinforced nylon. Resistant to solvents, we're going to test that. Screwdriver tip geometry milled for exact fit with fasteners. The Tecton brand is made in USA. The flutes on the Tecton seem to be just as thick as the Craftsman. And the Tecton seems to provide a really good fit with the drywall screws. However, it didn't take long before I was applying a lot of downward force to keep the screwdriver from slipping out of the screw. And it took a lot of pressure to install the 20th screw and the bit was slipping. And the Tecton screwdriver held up a lot better than the Pittsburgh but experienced a lot more wear than the Craftsman. So the Craftsman's in the lead. At a price of $33 for six screwdrivers or about $5 at 50 cents each is this channel lock brand. High torque acetate handle for superior durability and solvent resistance. We're going to test that. Custom heat treated alloy steel blades. Precision machine vapor blast tips for precise fit. Nickel chrome finish for exceptional corrosion resistance. The channel lock screwdrivers are made in USA. Let's see how the channel lock screwdriver holds up. And the channel lock screwdriver is performing a lot better than the Tecton, but after 35 screws, I'm having to apply a lot of downward pressure to keep the screwdriver from slipping. And the channel lock is used up after 48 screws. The flutes did not bend or twist, but did experience quite a bit of material loss. At a price of $38 for six screwdrivers, or over $6 each, is this Philo brand. Test the best, we're going to do that. Ergonomic, the first handle that adapts to the user's hand. Impact proof handle, made of highly flexible plastics. You can use the nut on the handle or the shaft to gain additional torque. The Philo brand is made in Germany. And the Philo brand is off to a great start installing 50 screws, but the screwdriver did require quite a bit of downward pressure installing the last 10 screws. The Philo almost survived the test but gave up after removing 38 screws. And the flutes are nearly worn through but they're not twisted or bent. At a price of $40 for six screwdrivers is this Milwaukee brand. The Milwaukee brand is made in China. The shank is forged. The screwdrivers are wrench ready to allow additional torque. Anti-peel handle design. Hardened grips. Milwaukee claims their screwdrivers are professional grade and durable. And the Milwaukee screwdriver is taking a lot less downward force to remove the screws compared to most of the other brands. Unfortunately, I drove one of the screws into a knot in the board, but the Milwaukee screwdriver was still able to get the job done. Milwaukee is on the left and the Craftsman's on the right. Both screwdrivers are pretty much used up and seem to be in about the same condition. At a price of $42 for six screwdrivers or $7 each is this Weirer brand. The Weirer kit includes a screwdriver rack. Laser tip micro rough drive tip bites into the fastener to ensure a perfect fit and reduce cam out effect. We're going to test that. Multi-component crat form handle fits the shape of the hand for ultimate in comfort and high speed torque transfer. Hexagon bolster for extra torque transfer. The Weirer screwdrivers are made in the Czech Republic.
The laser grooves cut into the screwdriver tip really seem to help the screwdriver gain a grip and avoid cam out. And the Weir has definitely performed by far the best so far, requiring a lot less downward force throughout the test. Weir is on the left and the Craftsman's on the right. And the Weir is showing a lot less wear than the Craftsman and moves into the lead. At a price of $57 for just six screwdrivers, or about $9.50 each, is this Vessel brand. It claims to be even beyond the Japanese industrial standard. Tatara is a traditional iron making process of katana that has been handed down for over a thousand years in Japan. Phillips jaws fit tip that firmly grips screws to reduce cam out. Chrome vanadium alloy steel shank specially hardened. The Vessel brand is made in Japan. The Vessel brand claims their tips are designed to prevent cam out. And the Vessel screwdriver performed very well installing and removing the screws, but it did seem to require quite a bit more downward pressure than the Weira brand. And the Vessel screwdriver is on the left and the Weira is on the right. The Weira definitely experienced less wear than the Vessel. At a price of $68 for 8 screwdrivers, or about $8.50 each, is this Klein Tools brand. Cushion grip handles for greater torque and comfort. Tip and dent quickly identifies the type of screwdriver tip and its orientation so you can easily engage the screwdriver tip with the screw. Precision machine tip for exact fit. Chrome plated for smooth feel and corrosion resistance. The Klein Tools screwdrivers are made in USA. And the Klein Tools brand installed and removed all 50 screws, but it did require more downward force than some of the other brands. Klein Tools is on the left and the Weir is on the right. The Weir definitely experienced less wear than the Klein Tools screwdriver. At a price of $91 for just six screwdrivers, or about $15 each, is this PB Swiss brand. The Swiss Tools brand comes with a screwdriver holder. The PB Swiss screwdrivers are made in Switzerland. The Swiss Tool screwdriver may not look all that much different from the competition, but the performance was simply amazing. The screwdriver flutes held proper shape during the entire test, so I didn't have to apply very much downward force at all to install and remove all the screws. Swiss Tools is on the left and the Weir is on the right. While the Weir brand did an amazing job, the Swiss Tools totally crushed the competition on this one and is in far better condition. Very impressive. At a price of $105 for 7 screwdrivers, or $15 each, is this Weir brand. Metal Striking Cap. Screwdriver tips are precision machine to exact fit. Wrench ready for additional torque. Advanced technology dual material molding. Made of chrome vanadium tool steel. The Weha brand is made in Germany. The Weha brand claims to be extremely heavy duty and it performed extremely well compared to most of the other brands. Just like the Swiss Tool screwdriver, it required very little downward pressure throughout the test. Weha is on the left and the Swiss Tools is on the right. And both brands held up exceptionally well and seemed to have about the same amount of wear. 7 of the 11 brands survived and completed the accelerated wear test, but the amount of wear varied quite a bit. Assessing wear is highly subjective, but the Weah and the PB Swiss came in on top with a wear rating of 1. The Weah brand performed nearly as well with the rating of 2. Now that all the screwdrivers have had some use, let's test them again, this time for failure or cam out load. I'll use the drill press, which has a wheel attached to apply the downward pressure on the screwdriver. Drill presses use leverage, so 15 pounds of weight will apply very close to 100 pounds of downward force on the screwdriver. I went ahead and removed the belt from the drill press to make sure we're getting accurate test results. I'll be using some very high quality self-tapping screws and I'll replace the screw before testing each brand. Even with 100 pounds of downward force and after only driving 12 screws, the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh cammed out at only 79 inch pounds. I guess you get what you pay for. After installing and removing 100 screws, the very affordable Craftsman puts up 50% more torque than the Pittsburgh, finally snapping at 118 inch pounds. Very impressive for a budget tool. After installing 20 screws, the Tecton cammed out at 90 inch pounds or 28 inch pounds less than the Craftsman. And the channel locks performed slightly better than the Tecton in the first test, and they once again outperformed the Tecton this time, camming out at 95 inch pounds. And the Felo performed nearly as well as the Craftsman in the first test, but it came up 1 inch pound short of matching the Craftsman at 117 inch pounds before finally breaking. The Milwaukee performed just as well as the Craftsman in the first test, but the Milwaukee came out on top this time with a very impressive 127 inch pounds. Once again, the Weir screwdriver moves into the lead with a very impressive 131 inch pounds before finally snapping. And the Vessel brand performed nearly as well at 123 inch pounds and moves into third position behind Milwaukee. And the Klein Tool screwdriver did a terrific job holding on but finally cammed out at 114 inch pounds. And the PB Swiss refused to break and finally cammed out at 136 inch pounds to move into first place. Very impressive. The Wea showed very little wear in the first test and it did very well in this test too, finishing in a two way tie for third place with the Milwaukee brand. The Swiss Tool Screwdriver came out on top at a very impressive 136 inch pounds. The Weira Screwdriver performed nearly as well at 131 inch pounds, and the Milwaukee and the Wea finished in a two way tie for third at 127 inch pounds. All of the brands have a quarter inch or metric equivalent slotted screwdriver, but unlike the Phillips, there's much more variance in blade thickness. So it's definitely not a perfect comparison, but let's do it anyway. I put together a holder for the screwdriver that has a fitting for the socket adapter. 
I'll replace the slotted bolt before testing each brand. Let's test the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh brand first. And the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh blade is quite a bit thicker than a lot of the other brands at 1.15 millimeters. And the screwdriver actually performed fairly well at 96 inch pounds, but the blade is pretty badly bent. And the Craftsman has a much thinner blade than the Pittsburgh at only one millimeter. And the Craftsman blade is very brittle and it broke at only 59 inch pounds. However, the Craftsman does come with a much larger screwdriver in the screwdriver set. The Tecton's blade is slightly thicker than the Craftsman at 1.04 millimeters and it barely edges out the Craftsman at 61 inch pounds. The blade is now bent, but the bend isn't nearly as bad as the Pittsburgh's. The channel lock screwdriver has the thinnest blade yet at only 0.95 millimeters and it gave up at 50 inch pounds. And the blade on the channel lock screwdriver has a pretty bad bend. And the Fiedel brand has the thickest blade yet at 1.22 millimeters, and it did by far the best yet at 103 inch pounds. No visible damage to the Fiedel blade. The Milwaukee only has a blade thickness of 1.05 millimeters, and it did the best yet, finally letting go at 106 inch pounds to take the lead from Fiedel. However, the screwdriver did experience a pretty bad bend. And the Weira, with a blade thickness of 1.22 millimeters, broke the bolt at 120 inch pounds. Very impressive. Let's try this again. And the Weira did nearly as well the second time, this time letting go at 117 inch pounds. The blade does have a small bend. Vessel has a relatively thin blade at 1.05 millimeters, and the blade lost grip at 82 inch pounds. The blade experienced a pretty bad bend. Klein Tools has one of the thinnest blades yet at only one millimeter. And the blade gave up at 85 inch pounds, which is actually pretty decent considering the blade thickness. And the blade experienced quite a bit of bending during the test. Just like the Klein Tools brand, the PB Swiss screwdriver is one of the thinnest in the lineup at only one millimeter. Considering the thickness of the blade, the Swiss Tools actually did fairly well, but it finally broke at 89 inch pounds. And the Wea brand, which claims to be extra heavy duty, performed very well at 115 inch pounds and moves into second place behind the Wea brand. The screwdriver did experience a small bend. So the Weir brand came out on top at 120 inch pounds, but the Wea brand came in a close second at 115. Milwaukee performed very well at 106 inch pounds and Philo 103. So three out of the top four are German brands. Let's see how well the screwdrivers handle stress from a hammer blow. To offer a fair test, I'll be using a hydraulic press to measure the failure load beginning with the Pittsburgh brand. I placed a black mark on the shaft of all the screwdrivers so we can see when the shaft is driven into the handle. And the Pittsburgh brand actually didn't do too bad for a budget tool. The handle began bending at 650 pounds and the shaft never began moving up into the screwdriver handle. At only 170 pounds, the shaft on the Craftsman began moving into the handle, but it stopped moving after about a half of an inch. And the handle in the shaft began to bend at 700 pounds. If you need a screwdriver that can handle an impact, the Tecton brand is definitely a good pick. The handle in the shaft began to bend at 1100 pounds and finally reached 1300 pounds before the test ended. Just like the Craftsman, the shaft started to move up into the handle at around 200 pounds, but it stopped moving after about an inch. The shaft began to bend at 1000 pounds, so the Tecton brand is still in the lead. With 300 pounds of weight onto the Philo screwdriver, the shaft began moving into the handle. The shaft began to bend at 600 pounds. And the shaft on the Milwaukee stayed in the proper position during the entire test. The Milwaukee began bending at nearly 1,000 pounds. The shaft on the Weira began moving into the handle at 700 pounds, but the screwdriver did not begin bending until around 1,500 pounds. And the shaft punctured the end of the handle. And the shaft on the Vessel brand began traveling through the handle at 200 pounds, and the weight topped out at 1,200 pounds as the screwdriver became very short. And the Klein Tools made it to 1,100 pounds before the handle began to bend and the shaft wasn't driven up into the handle. So the Klein Tools and the Tecton performed about the same. The PB Swiss brand began to bend at 650 pounds and the shaft wasn't driven up into the handle. And the Wea has a strike cap that's designed to handle a blow. And the shaft on the Wea stayed in the proper position, but the handle began to bend at 750 pounds. So the American brands, the Tecton, Klein, and Milwaukee came out on top at 1100, 1100, and 1000 respectively. Apparently manufacturers understand that Americans like to use hammers on their tools. The Japanese made vessel performed very well at 900 pounds and the Wea 750. So the real question is when it's hammer time, which screwdriver has the best dance moves? Very nice dance moves, but don't get cocky, Milwaukee. Some very interesting dance moves from the German brand Weira. The Japanese Vessel brand definitely seems a little bit stiff and needs to loosen up. For only seven bucks, you get some pretty good moves from the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh. I tested all the screwdrivers for chemical resistance using brake parts cleaner. After dipping the screwdriver handles in brake parts cleaner for one minute, all the brands survived. However, the Craftsman and the channel lock seemed to be the most affected as the plastic became soft. However, none of the handles became sticky after exposure to brake parts cleaner. Not all the screwdrivers are magnetized, but the magnetizer makes quick work of it. You can demagnetize or magnetize a screwdriver in about three seconds. It's a really nice tool to have on hand. 
When it comes to screwdrivers, you get what you pay for. I really like the Wea as well as the PB Swiss, but they're very expensive brands. If you're not looking for a really cheap brand, but you're looking for a brand that will perform well, I really like the Wea as well as the Milwaukee. Both of those brands seem to finish near the top three in just about every category. And finally, if you only have $20 for a set of screwdrivers, I would go with the Craftsman. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.